Radio Legends, Cars Chronicles. So we're back with another video again. And so today I thought I'd talk about um, the time that um, somebody that I know that um, I class as, as a good person, as a gentleman, um, was actually accused of something he didn't do and, and, and paid the price. So um, I'll, I'll say that I was at MRC. Um, this would have been around 2011, I think, maybe 2012. Um, anyway, I was working at the kitchen in MRC. And um, so um, if you get a job in the kitchen, you can work with people from other parts of 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 the of the jail and so um at the time i believe i was in a yard um maybe c yard um in cambridge um but anyhow um uh i started there let's say on a monday let's just say on a monday and then about a week after me when i started at the kitchen um, this young kid started at the kitchen, first time in man's jail, had had said that he'd been to juvie, this and that, um, and was in on um, robbery charges. And um, so, um, you know, um, we 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 kind of took this guy under our wing. Now, I need to say now that I have absolutely zero respect for this guy and um, this guy is a very well-known identity and, um, yeah, his name is Harley Hicks and if you don't know that name, I suggest you Google it um, because he done um, was later accused for doing very unthinkable things to a, to a baby um, um, and that baby is no longer with us. So, um, yeah, his name's Harley Hicks. But anyway, that was the young kid who who came in about a week after me. And so this kid, he was gen, he was generally a smart ass, but like generally respectful as well. So, you know, we didn't really, you know, um, ha like hassle him too much about being a smart ass. He was actually pretty funny, and um, you know, it was kind of something something to laugh about while we were while we were uh, working in the kitchen but i do remember him being a, a smart ass so much as so um we we had someone who who was you know like had a lot of pull in the prison that was working with us and and didn't appreciate you know this kid this harley kid being a smart ass um the way he was and um so um and 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 might i add that this the this Harley guy is definitely in protection now. Um, I also have a video um, on this. I will try and add it to this video here um, of the time when he was in protection. I was in um, Charlotte and was taken down to get my medication um, because I missed my medication. Can't remember, but whatever. I got my hands on him. I was in handcuffs. You get... Um, escort around the prison in handcuffs when you're in Charlotte and I managed to get my hands around his neck and you know grab him to the ground and like try and choke him out but um yeah anyway you can check that video but um yeah anyway you know the boys weren't um the boys weren't being appreciative of him being a smart ass and um so I know that he was in the unit called Chilwell and there was also a guy in that unit called Shaky Nick now if any of you guys have done um prison in um victoria in the last 15 years there's a good chance that you know shaky nick so he's an absolute gentleman but he's got the jitters like 24 7 like fully shaken like 24 7 and um but an absolute gentleman and so anyway um i remember um this kid had had come in that day and he said that he got a new cellmate and he explained who his cellmate was and i said yeah look that guy's an absolute gentleman um and yeah you got nothing to worry about him like um he does have some psych issues like i, I have seen him flip out a few times for people like hanging shit on him but everyone in in prison is going to do that if you hang shit on them they're going to flip out so um but yeah, um, you know, we we're working in the kitchen and, you know, over the days he was talking about how hard it's been in prison for him. He, he, I believe he told me he had a new baby on the outside and um, he was talking about ways he can get bail, this and that. And, you know, I remember telling him that you can go for appeal bail. If you were on bail before you got locked up on this one, you can go for bail again if you've already been sentenced. So you can appeal it. 
You've got 28 days to appeal it and then you can go on what's called appeal bail, which is, you know, it's just the same as normal bail, um, but you're, 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 um, you've already been sentenced and you've appealed your sentence. And I was, I was telling him that's another way and, um, you know, pretty much people were saying, once you're here, you're here, you're not getting out. And I remember someone made a joke about, you know, getting um, SA'd, so sour grapes and, and made a joke of it saying, you know, that would probably help you get out. Um, so he, he's obviously taken this on board and we didn't realise this until afterwards, but this guy's obviously taken this on board and, and um, you know, he's, he's um, you know, thought that this might be something that can help him, um, you know, get off his sentence or get out is, is what he wanted. So, yeah, you know, the, the days go past. It was about two or two days after that, I believe. And, um, we noticed that, that Harley wasn't there, you know, and, um, he was a big smart ass and he was very loud. So everyone noticed when, when he wasn't there. And, you know, I remember, um, you know, making, Talk, saying oh he must have got out he must have got out and then the boys are saying nah he's not getting out he's, he's in on armed robbery and um so anyway um the over the days I, I was told that that the same day that that harley was taken that nick was taken as well and I was like, oh, damn, he must have, like, slapped up Harley for being a smartass. Now, I can't emphasize how much of a smartass this kid was. Like, he was five foot three or four or something, like a very small kid, looked about 15 years old, like, looked really out of place where he was, but, um, you know, had this, like, bravado about him and, and you know, thought he was bigger than what he was or, or whatnot. But um, anyway... Um, you know, fast forward about another week and and while we're preparing the meals, one of the screws, so kind of the head cooks worked together and we were kind of there and then the screw who ran the kitchen came over and said, did you hear why they've taken Harley? And I was like, no, I didn't hear why they took Harley. And he's like, well, they've taken Harley because he's um, been – um, sexually assaulted by shaky Nick and I was like nah there's no way there's no way that that would have happened and they said well he has got a tear in his anus and you know blood all over the bed and cell and this and that and um, I was like damn well it it must be if it if, if that's what they're saying has happened then that must have been what happened and um, so anyway th- that was kind of um, forgotten about and then and then it came out in the news like i remember watching it on the news harley hicks has you know unalived an infant very very young not even 12 months old and um you know in a pretty pretty brutal kind of way and um you know i remember that you know when you see something like that and if you've done prison with that kid and because that kid had come to mrc like i remembered and and like so that news article kind of stuck in my mind and um so um you know fast forward again um you know i've been sentenced my brother was already at barwin so i went to barwin and um yeah i'd been there for maybe two months and i was doing laps with my brother and then next thing you know out through the spine where they send all the people from the slot or when you come on the bus you know next to the um canteen so this, this guy's walked out and i was like said to my brother holy shit that's um shaky nick he actually was um done for um you know saying sour graping at that little kid that we're working with in the kitchen and my brother was like oh yeah damn um and I was like, you know what? I'm going straight up to say something to him. I don't want something, someone like this in my yard. And, you know, I feel like I have a responsibility to do it just because I was working with the kid and this and that. And so I remember we went and grabbed him and we walked him aside and, and you know, questioned him about what was going on. And, um, you know, he said that um, – he had been cleared of all them charges and we're like, nah, bullshit. And he's like, no, I'm absolutely telling you, I've got the paperwork in my cell. Of course, I'm going to keep it if I've been, um, you know, charged with something like this. So what actually happened was, so 
they had taken Nick to medical for, for, for whatever reason. He was in a, a medical unit, so they're always getting taken to medical. And so Harley was in the cell by himself. So what he's actually done was he broke open a razor and he had um, cut his anus himself and um and that's exactly what happened and he he was actually found um you know talking about this um saying that that nick didn't do anything to him at all um and that he did just did that to get out of prison now here's the thing he did that to get out of prison and that kid got out of prison and then when he got out he went and unalived that baby so you know, I think that's absolutely bonkers. And and that poor guy, Nick, you know, was tarred with that brush and he was like, you know, I knew when I was coming out to bar when I was going to have to, you know, people were going to check me over it. And um, he also said that, that the security at MRC literally came into his cell every single day for about nine months and kicked his head in like he'd lost his teeth, everything. And let me tell you something, when you are locked away in um, – like separated in the slot, like um, segregation, whatever you want to call it, the pokey, the hole, you know, when they lock you away for 23 hours, when you are in there and these screws decide to do anything to you, they will just lock you away until you look better so nobody sees you. I've had it happen to me. Every single one of my mates who's been to the slot would have had it happen to them. It's a very, very common occurrence, and, um, you know, they're pretty bad people. But he said every single day they came in for nine months, he said, I couldn't use the phone, I couldn't tell my legal team that that this had happened, you know. He said I'd been charged with these offences. He goes, in every single person, eyes i was the worst of the worst so nobody wanted to help me and um yeah i just think it's 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 pretty sad and um yeah i just um i think that it was shit that 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 kid was able to get away with that to to get out and to do what he did and um yeah like i said if you haven't seen my video i actually managed to get my hands on this guy later on and um uh in medical at port phillip and so I will attach the video to this one. And um, if I haven't, um, yeah, go through my videos. And um, it's it's if you type in the words in my search section, um, child, um, K I double L E R, that you will um, you will find two people that I've come across in my prison history like that. So um, yeah. Anyway, guys, there's another like half by war story, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you know, as you guys know, I'm keeping up my posting a lot more now, and um, yeah, we're building up the page nicely. I'm really happy with the way things are going, and um, yeah, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been absolutely awesome, and um, yeah, if you jump up there and smash that subscribe button, um, that would be really, really appreciative. And also hit that bell; that way you'll never miss any of my clips. And somewhere in the vicinity of uh, this video, or and um when you go to or, or so sorry not in this video but if you go to my my home page my channel page you will see there is a spot there where you can join my um you can subscribe and you can also join my membership memberships um so they are paid memberships so absolutely nobody um is obliged to do that but um you know if you were to do that it does help my page and help us grow better and um you know do bigger and better things so um yeah anyway guys i've been the chaos chronicles we out so the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.